going in your head and like, oh, I want to start with this? Or do you just like start playing and pressing buttons and then like go from there? Um, I usually start with a sample. Like oh. that's been my go-to, but sometimes I need to switch it up and not do that. But like, yeah, I'll be like listening to music like, oh, I got to sample that. You know what I mean? I just, I really like like, I mean, it can be like, it doesn't have to be obscure. <laughs> like, I don't care. I'll just loop something too. Like sometimes like not even chop it up, but more lately I've been starting with the breaks though. Cause I've just been trying to get better at like doing my chops and stuff like with the tracker. The tracker's kind of changed everything for me, honestly. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I've been starting at like the bass or break lately. Which just to change it up a bit, not to just be sample digging the whole time. What, what kind of like appeals to you about like this music style? Um, because if, 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 you, like if the, you're going from like, like the, roughness, the rawness, I like the history of it. It's all super dope to me. It's like city, and at the same time, it's like kind of like futuristic and like, I mean, like most of the stuff I would be making is like encapsulated in a certain time. Like I don't really go past a certain year of stuff that I listen to necessarily. I mean, if it has the sound of the earlier stuff, I'll still listen to it but i don't listen to a lot of like harsher sounding drum and bass or even like kind of liquid drum and bass of the 2000s kind of later i don't really and i use liquid lightly i don't even know if that's what it is but just kind of like ultra produced stuff i kind of like the more rough roughneck style that's like um it just it, it's, it's bombastic it has like comedy and it's like also like terrifying and it's hard mm -hmm. i like that it's hard you know um and it's fun and yeah i mean basically all those things it's kind of like the perfect medium in my mind. Like a perfect medium because anything goes which i think is really cool do you have any concern about like you know the the development of like ai stuff in like both the, in art generally but then also like specifically like the music field where like they're generating like beats that are you know, very similar to what is like pop music or for uh, or, or just like sampled like very sim sample uh, uh, produced music. No, I don't I don't care about that at all, man, because honestly, like I think I don't like like ninety five percent of the music that's made right now anyway. Mm -hmm. Like straight up man, just being honest. Like I just don't like the thing where it sounds like everybody's using the same plugin. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we're already there like whether or not it's AI or not. Like, I feel like there's so many musical tools now that just like, like can help you make professionally sounding stuff like easier and easier. Mm -hmm. It's kind of whack to me. I mean, it just doesn't have the soul. So like, I really give a fuck about soul and music. So if you make music that way, I just don't hear it. And like, so no, I'm not worried about it. Cause I'm already like, so jaded that i couldn't <laughs> be any more jaded like you might as well just it sounds like to me that they're already doing it on ai so i, I but, would be worried but i'm already cynical <laughs> yeah i'm already like what me worry you know what i'm saying like it's already so whack out there like i'm sorry it's whack but uh like I used AI today, man, before we got on this call, there's this thing called la 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 dot AI. And they've been doing this for a while, like stripping, you know, I want to strip the drums out of this track or strip the vocals. Um, but this is the best one I've heard. And I just stripped a Tupac track or the Tupac had sampled it. Um, you know, the keep your head up, that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, child, things are gonna get easier. Mm -hmm. So it's like a Zap and Roger track, and like I, I just stripped the the drums from it and like just used that sample. And, um, I ended up double timing the drums and chopping them and doing it, and then extending the main sample. Mm -hmm. So I just did that before we got on the phone. But the, the dude, la la la, AI is sick. I'm I'm all about like AI shit that's 